Hey guys, in the last episode we built uh, hot wires. Hey guys, in the last episode we built liking posts with hot wire where we took and refactored our old liking posts episode that used jQuery, Rails UJS, and a bunch of other old school methods in Rails and we updated it to work with hot wire. So we click this button and we can um, update that portion of the page using a Hotwire turbo stream action to replace that section with the latest version of it. So what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna talk about how we can refactor this code that we wrote to be reusable. So right now, we've kind of prepared for that a little bit where we've added um, our like model as a polymorphic association to a record. So you can like any record in your database. But our controllers, our views, and our model code isn't necessarily um, specific to, uh, or is kind of too specific to a post. It's not generic enough. So we're gonna refactor that and improve uh, the way that it works. So let's talk about that by starting in our models. Our post model has these helper methods where we can check to see if a user has liked a record, in this case a post, and it uses the likes association to automatically include the record in the query. So all this code has to do is be given the user and it only needs to add the user to the where clause. So that works great, but we might want to add another model or two. So let's talk about that. Let's go and generate a, um, let's generate a scaffold for a comment and this will be user belongs to, and it will have a body as text. So we'll have a whole bunch of comments that also might like to have likes. Um, no pun intended. Uh, so we'll have comments, and we can, in our Rails application, go to 